Do you want to calculate the net present value NPV of a project using a BA2 plus calculator by Texas Instruments and you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you in today's video just how easy it is. So stick around to the very end and I can show you um, whether or not this is a good project to invest in or not if you're representing a company. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. I did a prior video where we calculated the net present value for this project here, and I did it without a financial calculator. For anybody who doesn't have a financial calculator, you can still calculate the NPV for this project. And if you want to know how to do that, I've linked the video up here in the corner. So go ahead and check that one out if you don't happen to have a BA2 plus calculator. But for those of you who do have a calculator like this, let's go through the steps and figure out what the NPV is for this project and whether or not the company should invest in the project. Basically, the net present value is comparing the cost of the project, in this case $30,000, with the expected cash flows that the project is expected to generate. And in this case, over the next five years, it may be less than that, it may be more than that. But in this case, for example, we've got five years of expected cash flows and we've got the projected amounts listed here for each of the years. Uh, and we are operating with an interest rate of 10%. So 10% is our interest rate. And given all this, we're gonna go ahead and calculate what the net present value of the project is and decide whether or not the company should invest in the project. So let's look at how we do this. The first thing that I wanna do with my BA2 Plus is turn it on. And I always wanna start out by clearing it out completely. Of course, the CCE button clears just the, the working memory, but we also need to clear out the time value of money. So I hit the second button and the right above the future value, right above this white FV key, there's a clear TVM, which is clear time value of money. And I hit the second button again, and I come down to the CE slash C button. And right above that, it says clear work. So I'm going to hit that. And anytime you hit the second button, you can see that there's a little icon that pops up that shows you that it's active. And I hit it again, and it turns it off. So that is how you access these uh, functions that are above the keys. They are in the same color as the second button. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. If you're finding this content helpful so far, I really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it, I really appreciate it. So let's take a look here and we're going to start entering information. So the first thing we need to do is account for this 30,000 and we're going to hit the CF button. That stands for cash flow. I hit that and it's got CF sub O. In other words, what's our initial cash flow? In our case, we're spending $30,000. So I'm going to put in $30,000. So I've got $30,000, but I, we're spending it. So it's going out the door to invest in this project. So I have to hit this plus minus key to make it negative. So I have $30,000 is my CF initial, and I hit enter. So now it's been entered. We're ready for the first cash flow, so I'm going to go down. So I hit this down arrow, and that gives me the cash flow for the first year. And the first year is 11,000, so I go ahead and enter 11,000 and hit enter. I arrow down, and it this is F01 is the frequency of that first cash flow. It only happens once, so I'm going to leave it. If you had multiple cash flows all the same amount, you could change this number and that would just show you the multiples of it. But in this case, we're going to leave it as one. Ready to move on to the second year. I'm going to check off we did the first one. Moving on to the second one, I hit the down arrow again. We have cash flow two. We're going to have a positive cash flow of 8,000 again. These cash flows are positive because they are coming into the company. So I've entered 
8,000. I hit enter and we've got cash flow 2 done. I move down and of course it asks me the frequency for cash flow 2 which is still one time. I check it off and we arrow down for cash flow 3. Cash flow 3 is 10,500. Hit the enter button and arrow down. It only happens once. Go ahead and check it off and arrow down. Cash flow 4 is going to be 11,500. Hit the enter button and arrow down. We took care of that one. Now cash flow 5. The last one was 12,500. Hit enter and of course the frequency is 1. Now we've entered all of the cash flows but we want to calculate we need to be able to calculate next the net present value. So I can hit NPV and the first thing it asks me after hitting NPV is I. That's asking me for the interest rate. The interest rate as we can see is 10%. I don't want to enter it as a decimal. I enter it as a percentage so I just put in 10 just like that and just like everything else we hit enter. I arrow down and it you see the NPV it gives me zero that's not the answer we're just going to compute it now so now we're ready for NPV we're going to hit the compute button which is the CPT button it's right above the second button I just hit CPT and it calculated it the and it gives us the 10,000 um, we can round that up to 5.5 five actually $10,116.55 if I'm going to round it. So that gives us, that's our net present value of this project. In other words, how much is it worth after we invest it? And it's a positive number, so we should invest in it because it adds value to the company. If it were a negative net present value, the company should not invest in it. So that's how you calculate net present value using a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Hopefully you found this helpful. I am trying to reach 4,000 viewing hours, public viewing hours. So anything you can do to help me with that would be greatly appreciated. It will help get this video out to more folks. I have got some long term videos that are for relaxation and study. I've linked one of them up here for you. You can check that one out if you want to. Uh, and if you are getting value out of this, it would be really great if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.